An Oregon company has developed a revolutionary new camera which can reveal things never seen by human eyes before. It can literally see air pollution. News Channel 8's environmental reporter Vince Patton is here with a story you'll see only on 8. Vince? Tracy, this is a first, a camera that can see air pollution as it happens. Invented by a man in Texas and refined by FLIR, the company that brings you infrared images on Sky 8. It may soon change how pollution is detected and stopped. Wendy Anderson inspects gas stations for Oregon's DEQ. She approaches an underground storage tank, Regular. just as she always does. She pops the lid and nothing seems odd until you watch her through a different camera. Oh boy. The FLIR gas finder shows what's never been seen before. Yikes. A black cloud billows around her. You saw the cloud kind of en envelope, you know, me. And anybody else who comes near the gas station's tank lid. I am concerned about that from a personal perspective. Invisible air pollution is the most common. If you can't see this, then now spotting it has changed. It, it is a thermal imaging camera. Clear Systems of Wilsonville has a new camera, the Gas Finder. Inside this camera sits a super-cooled cryogenic pump. So inside the camera, the, the actual detector is running at about minus 324 degrees Fahrenheit. Its detector is so fine-tuned, it can see hydrocarbons, invisible to the naked eye. It's the first of its kind. Paul Sarapusco of FLIR brought the camera to a couple of gas stations for a demonstration. In Woodburn, watch what we see as an older car is filled with gas. You see nothing with our Channel 8 camera, but with gas finders, clouds of fumes billow out, and they envelop the attendant pumping gas into a box truck. I am doing it manually now. With an older model pickup truck, fumes swirl out too. I see actual gas fumes coming out as, you, as they're pumping. Yeah, and I can smell them when they're coming out of there, too. Yeah. Oh, gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's what's coming out every time. Drivers appeared shocked by the recording. Wow. And think of the attendant pumping the gas. That's... That's mind-boggling. The camera only shows vapors. Look at that. There's no way to know how much is there. The good news is, new cars capture those fumes. That was clean as a whistle. We gassed up the newer Channel 8 news rig, and no fumes appeared. I think at the end of the day, that's what the camera's also proving is, it does system is working. At a Portland gas station, we invited a number of specialists from Oregon's Department of Environmental Quality to take a look for themselves. They're amazed when Wendy Anderson pops those storage tank lids. Well, there is a puff, totally invisible to the naked eye, but here you can see it. This camera is revolutionizing finding leaks. It works on gas pipelines and in chemical plants. It proved vital after hurricanes Katrina and Rita. Investigators used it while flying over chemical plants and oil refineries. We could see things that have never been seen before, and, and, and the magnitude of these leaks have, uh, have offered up an incredible new perspective on uh, environmental pollution. Oregon-based FLIR took the camera up in Sky 8 over the Portland Harbor. In a brief flyover, no leaks appeared. Major companies have been buying the gas finder to prevent leaks, and state and EPA inspectors use it to find them. I thought it was fascinating to actually see it. Wendy Anderson says she had opened her eyes to protect herself during inspections. Actually, I've thought about maybe I should use longer tools or whatnot. Now, at $75,000 a pop, DEQ doesn't think it can afford a leak camera, but industries who don't want to lose valuable chemicals, natural gas, and other products are finding it invaluable. And it saves the money in the long run by preventing lost product and pollution fines. Joe and Tracy? Well, that is incredible. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Vince. Next time you fill up, you just hold your breath from the time you pull in.